Good morning. Uh, I just wanted to upload a little video for you to uh, bring you up to speed on a couple things here at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Cory, PA, and uh, why we there's some decisions that we've made and why we've made those decisions. I, I needed to get that out to you. And yes, for those of you that are in Cory area or are on our phone tree, we are having problems with our phone lines on the phone tree. It is coming through garbled. I'm going to try and send it out again today uh, just to let everybody know what's going on. But at this time, we have had just enough obstacles pop up for us that we do not feel like we can do our outdoor worship service this coming Sunday, May 31st. I'm going to give you those reasons why in a minute. But what I wanted to give you first is that we will be streaming again, 9 a.m., on Facebook and YouTube, feel free to tune in and join us. Um, but, okay, so the first obstacle that came up for us in trying to do our worship service, our outdoor worship service this Sunday, was that we were hoping to dedicate, we have 13 bricks to dedicate into our memory walk, and our brick person who engraves them and paints them and does all that stuff, uh, he has had a major issue with his paint, and it's not sticking in the bricks, so it looks like the bricks will not be ready for this coming Sunday. Obstacle number one. Obstacle number two, it looks like after this week of being in the high 80s, uh, Sunday the high is going to be under 60, which means Sunday morning we would probably be looking at about 40 to 50 degrees outside um, in all, uh, during our worship time. So don't really think that that's prime. Even though it's not raining, it might be chilly. Uh, but the third obstacle that came up for us were ones that um, obviously we've been dealing with, but we wanted I wanted to kind of flesh those out for you just a little bit. Uh, I had a conversation with Erie County Health Board, or not the board, but a person from Erie County Health Department, uh, and, and we kind of talked out some things and some issues that we were worried about. Uh, we, you know, we have our worship service churches fall in a very gray area where this stuff is concerned, getting together. Our numbers are still supposed to be under 25. Uh, we would have to have four to six worship services to try and get everybody through. Uh, if we decide, well, we're going to be outside, we can have as many people as we want. First of all, not really good optics. Uh, you know, nobody else can have more than 25 people, but we're a church, so we get to be different. That's not really a, a good way to interact with our community. Number one. Number two, um, we are uh, looking at being outside. We still have to provide facilities, uh, bathrooms, people coming in and out, sanitizing, cleaning, having a crew to do that. We're not quite there yet. All of our sanitizing and cleaning supplies are on their way, but we do not physically have them in the building uh, in our hands. So that got kind of got in the way. Then there was another piece that we talked about that, you know, it, it, and I know everybody's got such varied opinions on this, folks, but you, you got to remember for us as a church, we are trying to do the best by our people, by, by the people that we serve within our congregation. So we have our outdoor worship service. We don't restrict it in numbers. We have 80 to 125 people outside. The next week, somebody from that group ends up in the hospital with symptoms of COVID-19. Those people have to contact trace every single person that they've been in contact with. So that would include every person that would be here outside for our worship service. We, your council and I, agree that it's just not time. There's too many obstacles in the way. There's too many things that are getting in the way of us being able to do it safely and securely and people feeling comfortable. We have ordered a bunch of sanitizing things that are on the way. Uh, we, we did order the, there's a sanitizing gun that you use and it just does a light miss. You can do the whole building. It's great, but it's on probably on back order until about October. Uh, so we're, we're not going to see that anytime soon. So we have spray bottles coming. We have the sanitizer coming. We have microfiber t uh, cloths coming. Um, but we, we need to figure out the best way to do this without rushing back into it and then regretting it. I would rather take our time, be prayerful, look at what we need to get done, and do it in a way so that when people come back in this building, they feel safe. We're not in a rush. 
We're in a rush because we want to get back together and see each other. But right now, again, like I said, if we can only have 25 people in the building, outside is different, but going forward, you know, if we can only have 25 people in the building, you know, we're looking at, we would either have to tell half the congregation they can't come, or we would have to have five, six worship services throughout the day. And, and sanitize and clean the entire building in between each one of those worship services. So, uh, we're just not there, folks. And I know other churches in town have started up, and, and, and that's for them to decide and to do. I don't want to put anybody at risk. I don't want anything to come back because we did something too early, and now somebody's sick. Three, four, five people are sick. Um, we need to be careful. We're doing well. We're trying to stay in touch with everybody. If there's anybody that anybody that needs anything, please contact us. It's hard for me to get through everybody, and especially now that we're having problems with our phone lines uh, with Verizon, but that will be solved hopefully around June 8th. We are switching over to Spectrum, getting all that stuff taken care of, increasing our internet speed uh, to be able to do a little bit more stuff uh, streaming-wise. And yes, I've been asked five or six times uh, this past week, are we going to continue to stream after we're able to get back together. Yes, we are. We are gonna continue streaming. Uh, we're, we're gonna need to work on getting kind of a tech crew together to do all that kind of stuff. I have a couple people in mind. Um, but we need, we're gonna need some, some things to get into place. We may start very basic and, and work our way up. Um, but we, yes, we will continue the live streaming uh, on Facebook and on YouTube as we continue to go forward, even when we come back in the worship space together. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on why we're not doing our outdoor worship service. There's just too many obstacles, too many questions, too much gray area for us to be able to feel like we can do it safely. So we're going to stream this Sunday, May 31st, 9 a.m. on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, we'll be And going forward, we will continue streaming. Council is going to kind of go up on a week-by-week -week basis, waiting to see where we are number-wise with the state, what we're allowed to do, uh, figuring out those things as we go basically kind of week by week, and then our sanitizing plan, getting that in place so that when we do decide we're going to open, we do have the place safe and secure. So um, thank you all for your time. Uh, God bless. And uh, do me a favor, spread the word, uh, especially if there's people that you know that don't, that aren't on YouTube or Facebook, uh, because the, the, um, the phone tree is acting up right now. I'm going to try and send it out again today. But if there are people that you know that aren't on Facebook and YouTube, members of the church that like to that want to come, uh, please let them know that we are unable to do it and they can join us streaming on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you all very much. God bless. Be safe. Be smart. Live in love.